you already answered me the the name the 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 turtle turtle's name mm -hmm. that's a great name now 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 they understand it i loved it but what what is what is the company and why did you choose to do it and let's let's talk about all turtles before uh -huh, a little bit and sure. so people can understand what 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 you guys do and and and, and how you how you work i mean all turtles so it's it's is, is our studio uh we started i started this uh the co-founders uh john and jessica uh basically after i left evernote i thought i would kind of semi-retire um so i became a vc i was a general manager at, at general catalyst but it turns out i just wasn't very good at, at investing other people's money. It just wasn't, you know, didn't have the right skills for it. it wasn't that interesting to me. Um, wanted to be more hands-on, so we started All Turtles, which was meant to be uh, a way to build products that could be good for the world in a way that was more efficient than the traditional, you know, Silicon Valley uh, venture, you know, venture capital startup model, which I thought was pretty, pretty inefficient after having been in it for you know twenty-five years. Um, so we work on, you know, a few different projects and sometimes those become independent companies and sometimes they don't, but we're not, we don't really, we're not fetishizing the company. We're not trying to say the company is the most important thing. We're, we're saying the product is the most important thing. And we're, but we're but you products. are directly involved in all the products, the company, it's not, you're not a VC. Yeah. So we, you know, we do, we do some, some, some seed investment in, in, in money in cash, okay. but we also do a lot of work, a lot of the, the work okay. for these products so we have you know, designers and engineers and lawyers and writers so it's both usually we'll get some people who are founders and we provide some some startup capital but also a bunch of team members uh, and then we go and raise money together from external investors and, and so on uh, i'm not personally involved in all in, in, in all the old turtles projects i i you know I, I probably like help out and do some advice on, on most of them but um the only one that i'm actually running full-time like my, my day job is mm -hmm. so that's the that is the my full-time job is ceo of mm -hmm. um all of the other oral turtles projects have you know, strong leadership teams ceos kind of whatever and then but that started as a, a as a project too and then you and then you so you moved from all turtles to to mm -hmm. that's that's what well, i mean i'm still i'm still at all turtles yeah. as well but yes uh-huh yeah, okay I'm, talking about uh-huh Mm -hmm. uh, in, in, in Portuguese, we we say "uh huh." Yeah, also good. <laughs> also, uh, it also works. Uh, and you you already answered another question I was going to ask, and I was going to ask if you created the "uh huh" mm -hmm product for yourselves because uh, I know that you and you don't use the word remote right you like the just distributed word, word co collaboration i don't i don't I, yeah. yeah i've you kind know. of given up on that i didn't like the word <laughs> remote work because i think the word remote like means that like somebody is central it means like the remote people are somehow at a disadvantage uh and so uh, you know it, just seemed, it seems like a bad it, it, it conjures Analogy. up the wrong images uh, for mm -hmm. me that this idea of of remote um yeah, so we we say it's not it's not about remote. No one's remote. It's we're distributed. So we're distributed okay. by choice. But I've given up on that because everyone says remote, and I'm like, you know what? Who cares? Fine, remote. <laughs> so, uh huh, was a product to solve a problem, an internal problem, or was was just an idea? How 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 did it came to be? Yeah. So we were um, right after COVID started. You know, we were at all turtles. We were all forced to work from home and work distributed and uh it was uh, uh it was just boring everyone was like we were pretty we were pretty productive we were busy but every oh, every meeting was sad and boring and it was just like endless video call after video call and uh so yeah we just started out as a joke we, we were just we were just making we just wanted to uh fool around on video just make ourselves laugh uh, and then from there it, it really Took on a life of its own because every time I showed it to someone, they would be like, "Oh, this is, this is really good. We should make a product out of this." And so we decided to launch it as a uh, as an actual product with the goal of really just improving how people communicate. So, but but you guys don't have an office, right? You, it, it's all home office, or do you have a, yeah, an I don't office? Know, see, we have, we have, oh, you have. Uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah, this office here. Wow, this is a so, this is a beautiful one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's good. we have we have, a, I, have a, I actually have a, a, a private jet that I fly around <laughs> in sometimes. 
<laughs> we are well, no we, we, yes we are fully uh, fully distributed uh-huh. um yeah all over all over the world uh i think we have people in 20 countries or something um, wow and yeah it's, it's yeah pretty cool. the reason i'm asking is because your assistant she was very efficient i emailed first i emailed you not her Mm -hmm. And she answered me very fast and everything. We set up everything very quickly, very agile. Mm -hmm. And how, let's, let's talk about that. How, how does in real, the real world is, so she has autonomy. I, I'm using that as an example, but I'm trying to figure out how you guys work. And so she, she did everything. She talked to you. You guys met. How, how, how did it work? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've, I asked her, I said, when you, when you hear from Vlad, I texted her after okay. talking to you on Twitter, I said, yeah, when you hear from Vlad, schedule it. Uh, okay. and she did it. I think, I okay. think she's in Mexico. Uh, wow. Right now. So she, <laughs> she was living in San Francisco. We were, we were all in San Francisco, but then I think a lot of us just moved in different places. So she moved to Mexico, a bunch of people moved all over the world. Mm -hmm. Uh, and yeah, and we, we try very much to, um, just not really care where people are you know we pay people the same regardless of where they live um and it's it's just trust people to be yeah you know, to be autonomous and to to know what they need to get done we have these uh we have this we, we decided we have four norms we have four you know four behaviors that mm -hmm. we uh insist on uh four four norms so to speak and it's it's this um only old Americans are going to understand the joke here, but it doesn't matter that, that the words are right. Forget about the pictures. <laughs> um, so the, the four norms for us, for everyone, has to be clarity, confidence, autonomy, and enthusiasm, uh, which basically means that clarity means that everyone has to be, you have to be clear in what you're doing and why. You have to be very clear. And if you're not clear, it's your fault. It's not my fault. My job's not to, my job's not to make you clear. My job or your manager's job is to provide the conditions that you can have clarity, but I, don't, I can't get inside your head. I don't know when you're clear or not. And so if you ever feel like you're not clear about something, you have to be clear. Like you have to do the work, you know, ask questions, do research, like don't wait for somebody to clarify it. It's your responsibility to be clear. You must have an allergic reaction to the sense of like, oh, there's something important, but I don't, I'm not clear. Like as soon as you feel that, it's like you have an allergic reaction and you have to fix it. <laughs> and, and, and it's on you. Uh, and I think that's I think that's critical, uh, crucial, critical to being uh, effective at being out of the office. Uh, the next one is confidence. So anything we do, we have to do it with confidence, which doesn't mean certainty. You don't have to be certain that mm -hmm. something's going to work. Confidence turns into the same thing. But Interesting. You have, to, you have to be confident about it. And if it doesn't work, then you change it. Then you confidently do something else. Uh, <clears throat> as you said, autonomy is the main one. Autonomy means that uh, manage yourself. Um, like don't, don't wait for somebody to manage you, Man manage yourself. Like you, you, like we trust you, uh, you decide how you're going to be effective, how you're going to get your job done, uh, and manage yourself. And obviously if that doesn't work, then, you know, go correct it, but you know, you can't, it isn't about, you have to manage yourself, really manage yourself is our slogan for distributed work and then enthusiasm. So you have to, you actually have to be really enthusiastic about the work that you're doing. And if you're not enthusiastic, then then you shouldn't stay, because it's like it's it's uh, you know life's too important. Like I never want to ask anyone to spend years doing something that they're not enthusiastic about. It's just it's just it's it's not fair. It's not just it's not fair to the to people to them. It's not fair to me. It's not fair to customers. So it's like, of course you can have a bad day. You can be in a bad mood. You can be sure. momentarily frustrated, but like you have to ask yourself for real. You know, am I enthusiastic about about? about the job so yeah so we kind of enforce these four principles and it means it's not for everyone because not everyone can do these things but the people who can i think it's a very good environment so maybe you haven't met in person some people that work for you yeah we haven't uh there's a few that started more recently so we we, we are we do get together in person um the whole company is going to get together twice a year we haven't actually done it yet but uh two times a year we're going to get together for training So we get the whole company together um, and then individual teams get together whenever they want. So, you know, so I do see people oh. from time to time, but there are, there are people in the company that I've never met in person, but you know, but I will in a few months when we get together uh, all at once. We have a, um, we, 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 it's not that we think that, 
you know, you shouldn't do things in person. Like, of course you should. It's, it's, it's super important. Yeah. No one's here. Yeah. So basically when you're, you know, when you're up here, when you're like, when you're actually live in the same room with someone, that's like a very, uh, it's very hard to scale thing. So you should only, you should only do this. You should only be in person. Um, when it's like, you should, when you're having good experiences, when you're bonding, when you're like having a good meal, a good experience, like you should never be like in a boring room in a meeting in person. And then sometimes you, you do live video, which is what you and I are doing. And that's really good for being interactive, questions and answers, kind of going back and forth. And then most of the time we're doing recorded video. So anytime we do like an update or sharing any information, it's actually much easier to share the information asynchronously. Watch, you know, record it asynchronously, watch it asynchronously. Then once everyone actually understands all the information, then we get together to talk about it synchronously. And then once in a while we get together in person. But when we were in person, we're not like showing slides to each other. We're you know, we're doing we're, we're going on for a walk. We're having a good meal together. We're doing things that bond us together as you know as human beings. So that's the this is the the idea wow. for how uh -huh. to split it up. And how how do you deal with long let's say long recordings or people that don't watch the recordings and, and I don't know it's like it's like the old days when we would send long emails and people oh I'll read this later yeah and is the same how how do you deal with that well I mean I think I think um, the recorded videos are always faster to watch than being in a live meeting because you don't waste time also you watch them faster than one x speed. So every, everyone watches the recordings and the recordings are all in this style. They're all like a person talking plus like slides and materials. You watch them at, you know, one and a half times or two X. Um, so it's much, much less time than it would have taken you to sit in a zoom call. So it's already, already saves time. Um, the way we have it set up is for, for important videos, like for work stuff, uh, we have it set up so that everyone can see who's watched every video. So oh, no one okay. wants to be the last person. So everyone watches them, you know, pretty, pretty fast, <laughs> but, but ultimately, yeah, like there's always, you know, there's always going to be some problems and there's always going to be some people that don't want to do it, but those people uh -huh. shouldn't work in a company like this. So okay. we're not trying to yeah. make it great for everyone. We're just trying to make it great for, for us. So let's move a little bit back to the, to the, to the organization. Mm -hmm. uh, so you don't have a, a system, a software, you just tax her is, is like that is things are like that all the time. You record a video, you text, you email. So you don't have, well, you, wait, wait. how do you follow up with work? No, no, we have, we have, you know, the tools, the main tools that we use are mm -hmm, so our own software okay. and that, sure. that has a whole like mm -hmm TV. So we have channels for different videos. And so that's a, mm -hmm. that's a workflow for, for on video stuff. We're using our own software using mm -hmm TV, which is great. We use Slack for, you know, shorter, uh, texts, uh, -huh. uh, and we use, um, we use Figma a lot for okay. kind of joint designs. And so I'd say those are like the three main ones is our mm -hmm, okay. Slack and Figma, but you know, there's obviously there's like Asana and other things that different departments do for me. I probably, probably the vast majority of my time I'm in, yeah, Slack, Figma and mm -hmm. Those are like, that's the triad for us. Okay. I have a question from a friend, Stacy Harmon. Oh, yeah. I remember Stacy. <laughs> she she want to know why Bentonville. <laughs> uh, this is for her. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Bentonville's great. Um, it's, uh, <clears throat> it's Bentonville, Arkansas, where I moved from San Francisco a couple of years ago. And uh, my original thinking was, um, well, I can work from anywhere because my job is, you know, fully remote and distributed. I can work from anywhere, so I may as well live in a nice place. But what I didn't understand is actually the other side of that, which is I could do my job better because I live in a nice place. Like they're, they're, they're connected. It's a loop. And by doing my job better, I can even, I can actually make the place much nicer. So we, we, we kind of came up with this, this philosophy, which we, we're calling the, the, you know, the OO loop, the out of office loop. Uh, which basically you know, means that um, improving quality of life improves quality of work for creative people. So if I, if you give you know for people who work on laptops for for creative for knowledge workers, if you give them the ability to live in a nice place and have a good neighborhood and have time, they don't have to commute, so you have time for your your family and your friends and for music and for art and for health. You you figure out a way to let people improve their quality of life for creative people that results in higher quality of work. And then higher quality of work results in more success and more money 
that you can then invest into putting improving the quality of life. And so you get this, you know, you 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 get this loop, right? You get this mm-hmm. loop where um, you know you're 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 improving quality of life, and that improves the quality of work, and that improves the quality of life, and you kind of get this spinning, <clears throat> uh, self like self reinforcing positive feedback cycle. Um, and of course, you don't have to do this in you know in Bentonville, but you have to start with someplace nice, someplace where you can really work on improving the quality of life, and then you do better work because of it. So this is the like this is what I've understood about my own productivity, uh, and uh, the, what we're trying to do for everyone else in our company and in as many as many people as possible in the world. Makes sense. So there's no special reason you just found a place that you liked. Yeah, and, and we weren't planning on staying here. Like we thought, basically, we were leaving San Francisco a couple of years ago because it's the middle of COVID and it's just not not a very easy oh, happy place. I see. And so we thought we thought we'd just get up like an Airbnb for a couple of months and then you know check it out and then go somewhere else. Like we didn't we didn't we weren't like it was a very easy decision because we didn't we thought it was very low stakes. We weren't planning on moving, uh, but we just liked it a lot. So we just so it just open a map and choose a place. <laughs> Pretty much, almost yeah. <laughs> I knew we had some friends here, so I, you know, I knew it was pretty nice, oh, okay. but it wasn't like, we didn't do a lot of research because we thought we would only be here for a couple of months, but, but now we've been oh, here for two years. So it's, it's, it's very nice. And, and talking about nice places back then, you had this, I don't know, law of appreciation fixation for Japan. Yeah. What, what was that? How, I, 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 I thought he was going to move there. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to. I'd still like to live in Japan for at least a few months of the year. Um, yeah, I love Japan. It's great. I, I haven't. I'm, I'm going back in early next year. It's my first time since COVID. So I was in Japan right before COVID, like right as it was starting to happen. I think in like January of 2020, maybe the last time. And then I used to go to Japan almost every month. Uh, you know, we have a, we have a great team there. We have you know we have. We, to have an office we still have a, a lot of a lot of uh, employees and friends and partners and customers uh mm-hmm. so yeah i'm looking forward to going back uh soon in the next couple of months uh and uh you know as part of this like quality of of improving quality of life improves quality of work like yeah i think living in a nice place in japan is going to make me more productive uh, i don't think i'd want to live there year round but i'd love to i'd love to like have a place i can spend a few months a year in japan could you could you learn some of the language? That might be very hard. Uh, you know, squishy, tiny, small amount, very little, <laughs> very little. Uh, it's 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 okay. Japan is Japan is such a well designed place that it's actually pretty easy to to get by and to navigate. It's like it's all just very like it's just Japan is a very good user experience in the country. It's just not. It's it's pretty easy. And why why do you attribute the so many users and products and books about everyone though there? Could you ever find out what why was that? Yeah, we had uh, we had a lot of uh, it was our second biggest uh, country after the U.S. by far. It was yeah much bigger than the next one. A lot of users, a lot of revenue. I think we had over forty books yeah, written about Evernote. Uh, you know, a lot of it I would just say is like it's easy to make like some stereotypical assumptions you can say you know oh well, you know maybe japanese people are more organized or something like that yeah? maybe that's true maybe it's not i really think a lot of it has to do with this like with a feedback cycle where uh i love japan so much or a bunch of us did at evernote and we would go there and we would meet with customers and users and press and they were like very excited because like we were so enthusiastic like we just love the food we love the people we love the culture and and that made them excited, and then they wrote about it. And so I think there's just this cycle where if you if you genuinely feel a connection, and you you explore it, you just can get more usage. And it's the same way now for mm-hmm, you know Japan is our second biggest country, so it's all it's oh. all repeating itself, probably for the same reason. So it's you. So it's you. It's you. It, you are it's, you are the answer. It's it's, it's, it's <laughs> us. It's there's there's many of us. And at this point, we have a very, a very good team in Japan. So that's the other part. It's like a lot of that was the team that came from Evernote, but we have, we have a very good team in Japan, so they, they do a very good job with us there. So you think the products from Evernote market, many of the products were from Japan. You think that's the same answer, that the same reason, or you like the products? Well, yeah, I actually thought I think the Evernote market stuff was was actually really good. Uh, I'm, kind of, I'm glad we did it. I would have continued it. Uh, I think we had a small number of products that were that were um, they were very well designed. Um, we, it gave us a chance for our designers to work with top designers from other fields, which I think is just very good for getting like design thinking going. So, you know, we worked with amazing, you know, uh, we had some amazing backpacks, for example, 
uh, and man, our design is working yeah, really good. I have, I have that one. That's nice. It's, uh, I know three. Whoops. <laughs> There's some products yeah, here. Still, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's cool. Uh, yeah, um, the back, uh, you cannot see the backpack, but it's right there. <laughs> yeah, we had so we had some really cool products. Uh, even the socks, I thought were. were yeah, cool. I never got the socks. I'm. I'm oh my yeah. god, I need one. Um, <laughs> I, 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 I'm always on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> nice. uh, and uh, and 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 it was actually it was actually quite profitable. Like we made a we made a significant amount of money on on, on on the market stuff yeah a lot of them are from japan just because there's such such good design in japan not, not everything i think we also worked with i think we had a backpack from france from cody cell oh and, yeah and we had one, one from, from japan and this one is from from japan the one the side one yeah. this is the one i have yeah. it's a very good yeah. one yeah those are great and, and you i remember you saying on a podcast that some people that were free users the first money they spent on evernote was was buying something that was amazing yeah yeah many buying something from the market yeah yeah and uh you know the scanner we did with with uh, pfu with fujitsu was great and sold sold really well and the the notebooks we did a partnership with moleskin to make notebooks and those were for a while those were their best-selling notebooks at moleskin um so yeah i'm actually pretty proud of that I, yeah, the most can I remember the release you had that envelope, yeah, confidential on on the, on the chair. <laughs> that was pretty pretty nice. <laughs> oh, I miss the conferences. I do miss. I love that. Yeah, it was time fun. of the year. We'll do. Yeah. We'll do. We'll we'll, st we'll start them up again at some point for, for okay. new products. Phil, thank you so much for your time. It was very nice to have you here. Well, thank you. Thank you. Really, thank you. Th and thank you for everything you did for oh, us. Well, th uh, no, th uh, thank you. Thank you for all the help with Evernote over, over many, many years. Uh, and uh, yeah, it was great to see you again. And hopefully uh, hopefully we can, we can, I don't know, the last time we talked was probably almost a decade ago. So 2012. <laughs> yeah, so exactly a decade ago. Okay. So maybe, oh, a decade maybe we don't need to wait another 10 years. Yeah. <laughs> now we, we have this, right? <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you.